Lady Anne soliloquy from Act One, Scene Two, Richard III. Lady Anne is Prince Edward's widow and daughter-in-law to the late King Henry. They have both been killed by Richard. In this scene, Lady Anne is the only person attending their funeral. I have chosen this scene because I find it unusual for a noble woman of that time to show so much anger and raw emotion. I want to show how she retains her dignity, yet being so vulnerable. I also want to show her strength through her words rather than her actions. Set down, set down your honourable load if honour may be shrouded in a hearse. For I a while obsequiously lament the untimely fall of virtuous Lancaster. Poor key cold figure of a holy king, pale ashes of the house of Lancaster, thou bloodless remnant of that royal blood, be it lawful that I invocate thy ghost to hear the lamentations of poor Anne, Wife to thy Edward, to thy slaughtered son, stabbed by the self same hand that made these wounds. Lo, in the window set that forth thy life, I pour the helpless balm of my poor eyes. Oh, cursed be the hand that made these holes, cursed the blood that led this blood from hence, cursed the heart that had the heart to do it. More direful hap betide that hated wretch that makes us wretched by the death of thee, that I may wish to walls, to spiders, toads, or any creeping venom thing that lives. If ever he had child, abortive be it, prodigious and untimely brought to light, who's ugly, and our natural aspect may fright the hopeful mother at the view, and that be he heir to his unhappiness. If ever he have wife, let her be made more miserable by the death of him than I am made by my young lord and thee. Come now towards Chertsey with your holy load, taken from Paul's to be interred there. And still, as you are weary of this weight, rest you as I lament King Henry's corpse. 